Good morning, guys. It's Angelina and Dima from Walk Energy World. It's our third day of Tour de Canigou Trail. We had a quite bad night because of uneven terrain. It was very hilly and so we couldn't sleep well. Also, again, it's very chilly in the morning. So we think we'll be feeling sleepy all day long now. But well, we have what we have. And we hope that tonight will be different and we'll sleep better. And for today I plan to do 15 plus kilometers, probably 17, because we've divided our trail in five days. And we want to be back to the village Castel where we started in five days. Because then we see that on the weather forecast there, the weather is changing. There will be rainy and cold days. So yeah, we have to do this norm for the day. It's quite a lot, but... We hope that today won't be that challenging because we won't be climbing to the peak and the elevation change will be around 600 or 700 meters up and down. It won't be any drastic difference and yeah, hopefully we can do it today and let's get on the trail. Now is the start of the trail and we are following a nice shadowed forest and quite flat route. And we are following the GR sign, not sure if it's GR10 or not, but it's white and red, a very good marking. So hopefully it continues all the way through our trail today. And also we are really enjoying this flat, peaceful trail. And we want to believe that today will be this kind of chill day because our legs are killed, you know, after yesterday's extreme adventure at the peak of Kanigu. So yeah, it's really, really needed today and hopefully it's gonna be true. We think today is going to be another beautiful sunny day. The contrast of night and day temperature is huge. At day it gets up to 25 degrees Celsius and at night it can drop to 5 degrees. We are very grateful for these warm days that feel like summer even though it's autumn. But of course at night it gets cold and we regret not taking warmer sleeping bags with us. We took summer ones which are lighter but you have to take heavier ones in autumn and this is a lesson for us. So yeah, very important. What we do like about this trail is that there is no lack in water sources whatsoever. There are a lot of streams, little rivers, and sometimes even like fish or water sources where you can drink right from it. Or you can just filter it, but it's perfectly clear water and it tastes very good, much better than a bottled one. And well, this is very convenient, so you don't have to carry much water with you. We see that the downhill part started. Till now we've been following kind of a flat route. Now we have 500 meter of downhill to do to the refugee, but there. So let's see if we can do it and it won't be that challenging of the downhill.
even though the most of our traffic today is going downhill obviously now we're going uphill as you can see now we're having a little break and yeah so we have to cross some kind of hill mountain this is not the peak or something and it's going quite gentle uphill so yeah we're going there been enjoying a lot this foresty and shadowy path that we're going through today it was almost all in the shadow and it's so refreshing in such sunny and hot day as it is now and yeah, it's just so magical to walk in here at 1,700 meters and now our way is all the way down to Refugi Bater which is stated here and it says two kilometers down and it's very nice because we see we start to see the Tour de Canigou actually it's the sign of Tour de Canigou because all the way before we've been following just GR10 marking and now it appeared here so hopefully it will continue all the way till the end Today we have our solar battery up and going for charging all of our electronics, cameras and stuff and mobile phone. And when we're having a snack or lunch, we're just laying it down in the sun so that it soaks up as much sunlight as possible because today obviously we are going mostly in the forest. So up until this moment it didn't charge very well. Yeah, now it will go on the backpack. starting to follow this mark of yellow and red sign the jar of Tour de Canigou and there are ways with the jar 10 have separated at the refugee Bater so now this is our sign now we have to cut down several hundred meters and this is quite steep as you can see and there's lots of pine cones so we have to really watch our step just done the steepest downhill of the whole trail to the river and now we have to do 300 meters up all that we've done down we have to do up now again without any break so go for it here in this gorge in the deep dense forest we can see lots of lifted ground and it's the definite sign we think of the presence of the wild boars which is really exciting if we would see it at daylight but we had never had a luck actually only once or twice we think in, in winter time because you know they're then they're easier to see and track but otherwise it never happened we just 
heard them at night and uh, you know at daylight they keep a very hidden lifestyle but it's an exciting animal to see So we're on our final stretch for today, the last three kilometers, hopefully. And we decided to cheat a little bit and take the easier route because it goes to the same place and joins the Jar Tour Mekanigu there. And here goes like the dirt car road, gravel car road, to the same place. Well, at the end of the day, with almost no powers left and very sleepy mood, this is all we're gonna do. I just hope that there won't be like two extreme slopes with no places to come because this is what worries us the most. At the end of our day now i think we have found more or less flat camp spot now we're gonna wander away in the forest it is close by the door car road that we've been walking the last three kilometers which has been pretty easy but there are no possible camp spots whatsoever this is like our fear came true of very steep slopes and you know like deep gorges like ravines deep forest and nothing at all just you know the rocks and the trees growing sideways. We're happy that we found at least something. <laughs> Hope to have a good sleep here. Dima's out for collecting some water now. And yeah, I'm just finishing off the video because then I'm gonna rest probably. And yeah, it's already like around 7 p.m. and we have only hour and a half of daylight left. So we have to cook our dinner as always, eat and you know, set up a tent. And we have to clean up the surface we think because there is lots of branches rocks and stuff like that and today was a beautiful day if it wasn't for our tiredness from yesterday it is just perfect there were no extreme paths just going through the shadow we didn't get burned in the sun nothing at all it was very refreshing and nice and cool and right now out of three days it's probably one of our favorite days so far so yeah let's see what brings us the next day uh, we think it will have more of uphill more of elevation gain but we'll see how it goes and for now i'd love to say is goodbye and <laughs> until next episode good night just wanted to show you real quick one of our fast meals it's mashed potatoes with some dehydrated tomatoes shiitake mushrooms previously boiled with the water and then we added mashed potatoes and yeah just our usual mix of spices curry and oregano that's it very fast and tasty thanks a lot for watching hope you enjoyed this hiking trip if so give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our youtube channel for more hiking adventures don't forget to hit the bell to stay notified about every new video Visit our website walkingnatureworld.com to find detailed hike reports with pictures and maps. Hope you have a wonderful day and we'll see you very soon!